Millions of dollars was on my mind at that time. I was dead broke. There was no time to relax, go hang out, party. No, I was broke. I needed millions. I saw, even when I had negative money in my account, which was very often, I saw millions in my future. I wanted safety, comfort, security, ease, no more stress. Tired of watching people stress. Tired of watching people fucking scrape and pawn shit just to make pay this. And you know what I mean? I was tired of that shit, tired of being that myself. So that was my thing, you know what I mean? At that time, no time to chill. I'm trying to get milk. And at this point, I'm 21 years old, you know what I mean? 22. And I'm like, nigga, why you didn't make it in basketball? Because you wasn't fucking working. You thought you'd be outside dribbling the fucking ball, doing something, when really niggas was in the gym with trainers, like putting in work, shooting a thousand shots a day. And your dumb ass over there thinking you doing something, mimicking Iverson. Yeah. So it was like, yo, do you really want to look back 10, 20 years from now with this music shit and be like, the reason you didn't make it in music because you ain't put in the work. So I was like, fuck it. That I was chilling. What I noticed was with that feeling of comfort, I'm like, damn, this is the moment that a lot of your favorite rappers hit a crossroad where they did what the fuck they set out to do and then the fruits of their labor started working against them. That same energy and that same like passion they put into the craft was gone and it was replaced by like comfort and luxury. So for situations where it's like, let's say drinking, right? Mm -hmm. I'll just stop drinking. It's not that I won't drink. Like if it's your birthday we and I'm with you, yeah. cold, have a drink, I do it. It's not like, no, I just don't drink. But I noticed I was in a point in my life where it was like, I felt like I had to like, Whenever I was going out, it was just natural. Oh, just let me get a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me get a drink. We on tour every day. Let's get a drink. Mm -hmm. Which seemed inconsequential to me, right? Um, but then I started to notice around the time I was like, yo, what, what am I doing this for? Like, why am I doing this? And then tracing back all the things the in my life. That, mm -hmm. Where did it start? Where my childhood? Where did it come from? And I was like, let me stop doing it. Mm -hmm. When you put yourself in uncomfortable moments, you find out a lot about yourself. And usually you find out that you're capable of rising to that bar that's set by that uncomfortable situation. Really the only thing I consistently do is like, I do my breathing. Like I try to do like a meditation before really? I go Really? Yeah. Are you good at meditating? Cause I'm terrible Am at I it. Am I good at it? Yes, because I- It depends on, I, I don't know if I'm good. I'm, it works for me. You know what I mean? Like I have a- A thing. A style and a technique that like, that I use for myself. Like you I, make people get out, right? Yeah, or yeah, 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 for sure. Breathing. Yeah, but what I do in the room before a show is different than what I do at home. You Got know it. what I mean? It's just like, before the show, it's like, I just need five minutes, if I can get it. Yeah. I'll take 10, but I'll take three. I just gotta do something to like, yeah. clear that, my head. Some people probably call that prayer. Cause yeah. it's like a form of prayer, right? I do right? that too, I do that yeah. separately. Really? Yeah, I mean, you could probably, yeah, I do them separately. At the, I actually do it at the end. So wait, are you like, because I've heard you say this, but so you like meditation has like become a thing, like a regular part of your life? Like you do it all um, the time? No. Oh. This is, I think people think that, like, because I've had somebody talk to me like, oh man, uh, they think that like I'm a big. Uh, right. Like, like you, you meditated before this interview. Yeah, I actually did. Did you really? I did. Oh, I love that. Yeah, but even that is misleading. I do it when, uh, when I get a little anxiety. You know what I mean? Or a lot of anxiety. When it's like when you're young, you or when I was young, I thought that success was all I needed. That's what was gonna bring the happiness. Buying my mom a house, uh, being the fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, that the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was a there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the, the blessings that you have around My life is mad blessed, mm -hmm. and my only stresses, I notice, come from, it's a deeper conversation about purpose. So it's like, I just got done doing this album where every day I have purpose. You know, beyond like, clearly my obvious purpose is as a father, as a husband, I got purpose. Mm -hmm. On a, on a more selfish level, right? But I feel like I've created a life where uh, my purpose is too much placed in music. Mm. Where like I put too much of my purpose 
and music to where when I'm home and I come home, outside of like playing with my son, if I go three days without doing music, making a beat, writing a song, I start to feel like miserable. And I feel like it's cause I haven't put, uh, I haven't um, found purpose or placed purpose in other things. I don't care if it's taking out the garbage, doing the lawn, like there's certain things, or uh, uh, there's certain things that Maintaining a household. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's certain things that people excuse you for, excuse you from doing when you like, when you're chasing something or like you, you, you have a career like this where it's like, you know, I got people that handle my, my business, mm -hmm. my affairs. I was with Kevin Hart when we were shooting the video. Mm -hmm. This dude is approving all his invoices, looking over all his checks. Wow breaking down the budget to me and it's just like in that one act there's so much purpose 